Welcome, brothers and sisters, to episode number 10 of the Cornbread Cafe. I am the mongrel, and I'll be your host today. That mouth-watering aroma that hit you when you walked in the door? Well, that's our buffet, where you can enjoy all you care to hear of the best in a generous spread of the finest in American Roots music. Cash and cozy, we're located at the five corners of blues, Americana, folk, country, and gospel. And sometimes you can catch an express to rock and roll at the bus stop across the way. I promise you, you will have to loosen your belt when you get done with this episode. Five of the six tunes we're serving up are from artists brand new to the show. Two songs are as yet unreleased, and one is from a young singer-songwriter whose indie pop efforts are winning her fans at least as fast as her Americana songs are. In our first set, we are Honored to welcome a man who is truly the stuff of music legend. Grant Malloy Smith has so many credits and awards to his name. It almost seems a shame to talk about them without him being here. And that's why I'm ecstatic that he's offered to come on the show for an interview. When that gets set up, I promise you, you will be personally introduced to a musician whose authenticity and heart are the very embodiment of American Roots music. In this episode, we're going to hear So Far Away from his most recent LP, Dust Bowl, American Stories. But first, let's spin a track off Picks and Vittles, the debut album from the North Georgia trio Pixon. Dixie, Pixie, and Mixie, who are Laura Monk, John Monk, and Michael Garvey, respectively, infuse their good, simple music with both passion and a sense of humor. So let's start off this show with Poor Lucy's Crooked Mile, and we'll dedicate it to all you beautiful dreamers out there.
again, that was Grant Malloy Smith with So Far Away from his most recent LP, Dust Bowl American Stories. And if you haven't heard it yet, you may be interested to know that every song is set squarely in the Great Plains of the 1930s during the worst economic and environmental disaster that America's ever seen. We'll be playing more tracks from that album, but if you can't wait until that future episode, well, why not pick up a copy for yourself? You can find a link to purchase Dust Bowl, well, actually just about every album we feature, right here in the show notes at cornbread.cafe. Yes, you heard that right. That's cornbread.cafe. And because most of the purchase links are through our affiliate programs, well, we get a few pennies on the dollar when you buy through our links. And that helps out with the cost of running this cafe. Next up, we'll be hearing from a young Canadian singer-songwriter, McKaylin Hay. Be advised that just like her indie pop tunes, her Americana compositions are laced with nimble, at times jaw-dropping lyrics, sung in a smoky alto that will have you wondering how far away world domination can be if she's capable of this kind of artistry at only 15 years old. You won't believe it, but believe it anyway when you hear Fade Away from her 2017 release, 1215. First, though, I have the privilege of serving up a cafe exclusive. Scott Thorne is a musician who grew up around the Gulf Coast of Florida, listening to Southern blues, country, gospel, and rock and roll. Now, an award-winning singer-songwriter in the neighborhood of Arlington, Virginia, his music bears the marks of his travels and fuses several influences from rock, Americana, and country. And it's not too likely that you've heard this next song anywhere else but right here. So enjoy Dust Devils and You, a new single by Scott Thorne, right now on the Cornbread Cafe. It's been a while since you looked me in the eye Is there something there that you're afraid of? I won't judge, I just need to know right now Tell me all through, did I get the best of you? Miles from nowhere, down a dark and dusty road you found me in the wasteland You quenched my thirst And then you held me to the light You showed me the way Oh baby please won't you stay
nothing's changed I know you enough I know you What did I tell you? Did I not promise you that McKaylin would be something special? She is going to be one to watch in the years to come. And I'm crossing my fingers that we'll get both McKaylin and Scott on the show for conversations about their work soon. Right now, let's take a break before our final set to check in on the festival scene for just a bit. Now, later this month, you might want to make your way down to one of my old stomping grounds, Knoxville, Tennessee for the Big Ears Festival. This international cultural gathering taking place March 22nd through the 25th is a dynamic, interactive experience that explores connections between musicians and artists, crossing all musical genres while interfacing with film, performance, and the visual arts. We've had the good fortune of featuring one of the acts who will be there, Anna and Elizabeth, on episode number five. And as an added bonus, if you're there, Rhiannon Giddens, a founding member of the Carolina Chocolate Drops, will deliver a keynote address at the historic Tennessee Theater on Saturday, March 24th. The second annual Suwannee Spring Reunion occurs in the exact same envelope of time, March 22nd through the 25th, as the Big Ears Festival. Uh, it's going on at the Spirit of the Suwannee Music Park in Live Oak, Florida. And this festival seems familiar, but the name doesn't quite match up. That's because it's a new take on the classic gathering fondly remembered 
as the Suwannee Spring Fest. This year, if the American Roots scene is where you want to be that weekend, you can head to FLA and catch Don of the Buffalo, the infamous String Dusters, Dar Williams, and many more. The following week sees the kickoff of the world-renowned Savannah Music Festival, lasting from March 29th through April 14th, The Savannah Music Festival is dedicated to presenting world-class celebrations of the musical arts by creating timeless and adventurous productions that stimulate arts education, foster economic growth, and unite artists and audiences in Savannah. A few of the many artists from the multi-genre lineup include Tedeschi Trucks, Gillian Welch, Bela Fleck, and Audrey McDonald. And hey... Are you a musician wondering how you can insert yourself into the festival circuit in 2018? I've got some good news for you. Showcase submissions for Americana Fest 2018 are now open and will be accepted through Monday, March 26, 2018. Formerly known as the Americana Music Festival and Conference, this annual event brings together fans and music industry professionals alike offering six days of celebration through seminars, panels, and networking opportunities by day, and raw, intimate showcases each night. This year, Americana Fest will take place September 11th through the 16th, gathering thousands of artists, fans, and industry pros from all over the world in Nashville, Tennessee. If you want to get in on this action, remember, submission deadline is March 26th. So be sure to look for the link to the submission page in the show notes for episode number 10 at cornbread.cafe. Well, we're down to it now. The dessert course of this extremely decadent American Roots music feast. Now, I was going to play this next track off the Whiskey Treaty Road Show's recent release, their self-titled EP, uh, last week. But then, when I dropped it in place with the other tunes, and listened to the entire music library for the episode, I felt like the fit could be better. And that's what makes the Cornbread Cafe different than just setting your playlist to shuffle or or turning on the radio, which might as well be a a random collection of tunes these days. I hand-select every single song, and then arrange them in different orders, and then I listen to hear how well they all go together. And if the batch doesn't taste right, I scrap the whole episode and start over. Obsessive as hell? Why, yes it is. And yes I am. Does it make for a superior show? Damn straight it does. So when I got my hands on the as-yet-unreleased new effort, We, from Parsonsfield, I was happy as a jackass in Clover to hear that not only was every single track on the EP profoundly tuneful, but opened up whole new worlds of song pairings. And just in time, too, when I heard Kick Out the Windows, the, the final track off We, I knew it was just the song to go with the Whiskey Treaty Road shows close to the edge that I didn't play last episode. The melodically mesmerizing new EP, We, by Parsonsfield, releases Friday, March 9th, But you can hear the brilliant anthem kick out the windows right after Close to the Edge, right here, right now on the Cornbread Cafe. Church bells are ringing, I hear the crying and the singing. There's a struggle in this country today. It's been there since the beginning You might say that it's been winning You know, it's, it's manifest in so many ways but This oppression that surrounds us Confuses and confounds us Must be stopped we're running out of time Well, we're close to the edge And I'm screaming out loud I don't recognize this power me naive man you can you call me 
call me whatever you will As long as we are living There'll be fights that need fighting But, well, I got hope for us still But if you choose to fight your battles With a weapon in your hand It's violence you're likely to find Well, we're close to the edge And I'm screaming out It's a fine line these days in Baltimore. There's not a thing that it's simple. We gotta work hard as we are able to get down to the root, down to the core. You know, it's not enough to say them coppers murdered Freddie Gray. We got a problem of a whole other kind. Well, we're close to the edge, and I'm screaming out. It's not a black or a white thing Well, it's a wrong and a right thing It's about equal freedom for us all And I ain't got no simple scheme But to achieve this angel dream Let's take that step If we seek, we'll find Well, we're close to the edge And I'm screaming out loud Well, I don't Summer sky, sleeping since you woke In pools, street light on the ground Go and find the strangers that you know Take your glass and drink the poison down Oh, but we have seen a thing or two The hills, the city and the sea And though the stars many we are few it's just the earth the heavens you and me let's kick out the windows let's ride on the wall climb over the fences run down the hall in the light die we'll rage and fight go kicking and screaming into that good night charge at least if not the way and slowly to the wreckage we will come there to die our lives a different shade and grasp at every ray of sun to light the shadows we have 
pretty much does it for our show this week. I hope your musical digestive system is fat and happy. As I said, I plan to do interviews with most, if not all, of the artists featured in this episode, and I've already got some pretty enthusiastic yeses lined up, so I'll keep you posted as things develop. Remember, if you're an American Roots artist looking to have your work featured on the Cornbread Cafe, just send us a note through the contact link in the main menu. And musician or fan, if you haven't subscribed to this podcast yet, please do, either through iTunes or Google Play Music. And once you do, leave us a review. That helps us get found by more Americana music lovers. And that's a good thing. I've been your host, The Mongrel, also known as JV, and I'm already looking to serving up another heaping helping of great tunes next week. Until then... Thanks for listening, and keep supporting indie music. 